Now here's our new ink. New ink. Alright, this is our new ink. Now, along this here, we're going to use the same basis, okay? Now, it just so happens, let's just say that this is a, this is a simple formula. We're going to make it a simple formula. So, the warm red, okay, the warm W, is going to be 0 0.500 or 50% of this mix, okay? Then let's say that the um, Rubin Red, RR, is going to be 0 0.300, all right? All right. And then the uh, reflex blue in this uh, new ink that we're going to make, it has to be add up to one here. So that's 0.8. So reflex blue in this new ink that we're making just happens to be 0 0.200. Okay, simple ratios. 50% of this is warm red, 30% of it is uh, ruby red, and 20% of it is. Uh, reflex blue, all right? All right, now. So, the first step in the process is identifying where they're a candidate. Because we, the base, the, this ink has warm red in it, it also has rubin red in it, and it also has reflex blue, that means I can use this here. Let's say, for example, I also have black here, right? and there was no black here, I could not use it because using this would introduce a color that this doesn't have in it and that's not a good idea, all right? So all the colors used here are in this. Now, however, let's say that this formula did have black in it, right? And this one did not. This ink can still be used there because you'll be introducing warm, rubin, and reflex and that's not a problem. You just have to determine what the amount is that you can add, okay? That's what we're going to figure out here, okay? So now the first step, we identify, we determine, okay, this is a good one. Yes, it works, okay? Okay, now, here's what we want to do. <clears throat> this old job, this old job that, we, uh, that we're going to, that we're going to run again is, uh, it's a big job, okay? We run it every few months and we run a lot of it, okay? So we're going to make, uh, let's say, we're going to make, uh, uh, we're going to make 200 pounds, okay? We're going to make 200 pounds of this new ink. And now we already said that of this one here, we've got 25 pounds, okay? So here we've got 200 pounds, and we're, uh, we've got 25 pounds here. And actually, I'm trying to set us up so that all of this ink can be used here. And then I'm going to set us up so that not all of this ink can be used here and how we figure out how to work with that, okay? So now, now that we've said those are compatible inks, step two, now we've got to uh, calculate how much is needed and then how much is, um, is, uh, is on hand for each of the bases, okay? So we've got the base ratios of this color here. We've got this here. Now we need to come up with the uh, base amounts of this color, okay? So now here's the amounts. How much, how much is in, in these amounts? Let's just say amounts. All right, if we have 200 pounds and there's 50% of it, that means this formula needs 100 pounds of warm red. If we've got 200 pounds and it's 30%, that means that we need 60 pounds of rubin red. And if it's 200 pounds and it's 20%, uh, that means that we need 40 pounds, right? And that adds up to our 200 pounds, all right? So now we've taken the ratios of the new ink, we've multiplied it by the amount that, of, of ink that we want, and it tells us how much of each of these colors, of each of these bases, are going into this, okay? All right, now, 
Over here, we have 25 pounds. So now we're going to calculate how much of the, each of these colors we have here, because then we're going to end up subtracting, all right? So now, if we have a total of 25 pounds and it's 0 0.680, let's see how much we've got. 0.68 times 25 equals, we've got 17 pounds of warm red. So this is a mountain, let's call it, okay? And then we've got 25 times 0.226 equals 5.65 pounds. And then we've got 25 times 0 0.094 equals 2.35 pounds. Let's make sure that adds up to 25. Yep, 25 pounds, okay? So here's what we got. We have, because we have 25 pounds of this work off, and the ratios are this, this is that first color we made in the previous scenarios, we actually have, in this bucket of ink, 17 pounds warm red, 5.65 pounds rubin red, 2.35 pounds reflex blue. In our new ink, we need 100 pounds of uh, warm red, 60 pounds of rubin red, and 40 pounds reflex blue. So what do we need to do? We just need to subtract the amount we have, all right? So we, if we need 100 and we have 17, minus 17, that means we need there 83 pounds left, okay? If we use this whole, the whole amount here. If we uh, take 60 and we take 5.65 away from that, that equals 54.35, right? 54.35. And let me not, let me not, I, I, use, I have to use my calculator because I make too many mistakes. All right, it is 54.35. Let me just write it better. 54.35 pounds of this. And then if we need 40 pounds of reflex blue and we have 2.35, we just take 40 minus 2.35, and we've got 37.65 pounds there. 37.65, okay? Now that's a modest gain, but here's what happened, okay? We can take this whole bucket of 25 pounds of ink, add it to the blender or whatever, or, just, or whatever, and then because it's contributed these amounts, right, of each of these base colors, then all we have to do is add to that ink 83 pounds of warm red, 54.35 pounds of rhodomine, Rubine red and uh, <clears throat> 37.65 pounds of reflex blue, right? And that allows us to use up this, uh, this, this whole amount here. And, you know, sometimes you have greater opportunities than that, sometimes not. But that's 25 pounds on your shelf that's gone. And it's not sitting there rotting and uh, taking up space and you wondering if you're ever going to get the chance to use it up, okay?